3D boxing here with a tremendous one. Tremendous again, still tremendous. Kendo Castaneda. Fighting the best of the best. Back at 140. Yeah, yeah. How's that feeling, champ? Feels good, man. Feels good. I feel more disciplined. Uh, you know, not not being lazy no more. Just getting straight to the point and staying active, staying in shape, and being the bigger guy at 140. Uh, having the experience from 47 elites. Going back to 40 and taking what I've been learning off those fights. I wonder, did you fought some really good fighters at 47, and you said you know 47 you could make, but it was still tough. Was it difficult making 140? Honestly, of course, man. I mean, I haven't fought at 140 in two years, so yeah, it was a little, it was a battle, but I got it done. I didn't, I didn't. It was a make it or break it moment, and I didn't break. I, you know, I made it 40 on the dot, and. I can still do it, you know, at least two more years until I get a world title at 40. That's my goal. You, you, you know, yeah, you, you, you ran off a little streak of losses there, but you're right back with that win. That's a knockout of the year type yeah, of win. And I was fighting all the top guys. I, I'm, I go in there against just winning record dudes all the time, whoever, no matter. You got off to a fast start because you never took easy fights. I mean, you have maybe one or two kind of cab drivers on your whole resume. Even early in your career, you fought good fighters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My whole career, yeah, just fighting, winning records. Did the experience so, at 47 help you in going back down to 40, knowing you're the physical, the more physical man, the stronger man? Yeah, because those 47 guys, man, they were big guys. They were big dudes, and I still took it to them. I still hung in there with them. Uh, when I fought Curiel, I don't know if you could know that. I'm sure you noticed I was sick. Yeah. And that fight, when you interviewed me, you were like, are you all right? But I was sick, man. I got sick that week. And then I also sprained my ankle two weeks before the fight. But, you know, I'm, I'm a warrior. I'm not going to back down. If I can show up and fight, I'm going to show up and fight. Yeah, no one will ever question your heart. You're, you're one of the warriors, of the true warriors of the sport. Um, and I, I wanted to ask you about that. So, Sonny Fredrickson, good fighter. Ha, ha, were you familiar with him? Had you seen him on Showbox yeah, yeah, before? Yeah, yeah, I seen him. Yeah, I mean, I knew you. I knew I was in for a tough fight. On paper, it was a tough fight. Um, but this is kind of tremendous rebirth, man. I'm, I'm working so hard. I'm hungry, and I'm not holding back. No, I, I got no excuses. Going to the ring, I'm, I'm ready to go forward. And um, yeah, man, I got him out of there. I didn't even. I didn't try to knock him out, but it just came just because I'm. I'm, I'm training and preparing for a street fight. 8, 10, 12 rounds. I'm ready for a street fight. And with that being said, like, I'm going to throw bombs. I'm going to be in, I'm in shape to throw bombs all night. So whoever I fight at 140, I'm sorry, man, but I hope y'all are in shape for a street fight, for a brawl. At 140, you might be able to knock everyone out. <laughs> you, put, you put a farm animal on the scale and it weighs 140, Kendo might knock it out. Um, you said you weren't looking for the knockout, but you threw those two right hands that kind of bind them, and you put the left hook behind it. Was that by design or did you just see an opening? Just just natural man, like like I said, I'm just I'm here to street fight. I'm every every boxing fight going forward, I'm ready for a dramatic show, a dramatic street fight brawl. Whatever lands, lands. If I get knocked out, I don't care. I've been down before my career. I'm not afraid. If I'm not put to sleep, I'm gonna get up and brawl it out. Uh, but I'm not just a brawler, I'm also a boxer, man. I'm elusive, I'll catch, I move. I'm not I, I'm not saying like I'm an idiot street fight, but that's that's the energy I'm bringing into these forward boxing fights is, is street fight style. Um, throwing bombs, whatever lands, lands. I'm in shape to throw bombs all night at 140, so I hope everyone's just prepared for a street fight kind of fight. Now you're fighting, scheduled to fight Joseph Fernandez in August, again in Florida, on the, on the Pro Box uh, Last Chance Tournament. I don't mean to disparage Joseph Fernandez, but is this an easier fight in, in, in some ways than, than Sonny Fredrickson was? I don't, I don't think so, man. I don't, you know, we're all men. You know, in this sport of boxing, we're all grown men, grown adults. I don't take nothing from nobody. I don't underestimate nobody. I expect Mr. Fernandez to come in in shape and expect him to want to beat me. But I just hope he's in shape for a street fight, eight rounds. I mean, I'm sure it's scheduled for eight rounds. I'm gonna be in shape and I'm gonna come forward on him street fight style with boxing behind it of course but this is what I'm I'm natural at is boxing but I'm not just a street fighter I'm a boxer puncher but I'm coming with the street fight drama show man I'm coming to I want to take everyone's head off the South Pole Puerto Rican fighters he offer anything you haven't seen before not at all man I've been in there with been the best South Paul in the game right now Jose Zepeda with 10 rounds it'll beat him like four rounds out of the 10. I want to ask, because you really came on strong. If that's a 12 round fight, do you win that fight? Definitely, yeah. I mean, that's that's my goal. I want to be, I'm coming back down to 140 to be undisputed champion in, in my time. So um, if Cepeda gets his win against Josh Taylor, 
after I win these next two fights, I want my rematch. I wanted to ask you that, right? So Josh Taylor has all the belts right now. Um, he's gonna fight Cepeda, whoever wins that. If Taylor goes up to 47, that's gonna leave all the belts vacant. Yeah. So opening up spots for you and other, you know, contenders and prospects at 140, it's become like a reality that, hey, if I win this tournament, I could realistically get a world title in the next and 12 get, months. I can get back my L's, you know. I can I can go back and start getting my my losses back. I want to I want to fight everybody I've lost to again, you know, because they didn't see the best of me. You folks saw the best of me against Sonny Fredericks because I am now rebirth and I'm gonna put my all into this sport because I'm. I'm already an older man, you know, and I gotta make things happen now. You're 26, I can't 27. Be, I can't be 28. 28. I can't be messing around, turning up, training. No, now it's just time to train, work, and fight the best and be the best. You had a knockout Take it to percentage him. that you know it's okay. 50 percent knockout ratio, but the other day, man, I'm fighting nothing but good guys. Did, My did, whole did, career, did. I came up the rough old old school boxing way. You honestly. did. You caught everyone on the way up. Do you think this knockout kind of answers any questions people may have had about your power? Like if someone questioned your power, does this kind of settle that argument? Definitely, yeah, because my power is not really 50% ratio. It's, 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 hey, if you get hit with something, man, you can go to sleep and get separated from your conscience. You saw that with Fredrickson. He was separated completely from his conscience. He didn't know where he was at. And that's scary type of power, man. That's heavyweight type power. I have that kind of power. Uh, your brother's fighting today. Incredible. Um, how's your brother gonna do? What, what, what should we expect from your knockout. brother? Knockout. I'm kind of knockout within five rounds. One last question I'm gonna ask you before you go. A couple weeks from now, Tank Davis versus Roly Ramirez. Who do you got and why? Tank Davis because he's a smarter fighter. Roly talks like an idiot, very arrogant guy. I mean, I don't take nothing from him. He's a tough, rugged guy and all, but intelligence is what wins boxing fights at that level. Davis is gonna come out maybe with late TKO stoppage. The front runner for knockout of the year, Kendall Castaneda. Uh, tell them where they can find you on social media. At Kendall Tremendo, everywhere. At Kendall Tremendo, simple. God bless, Jim. Congratulations. God bless.